Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, we're going to talk about Lifter LMS advanced videos and how you can use it on your WordPress website to have auto advanced features, require video completion, disable player controls, and all sorts of features that advanced videos has. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is head to the back end of my WordPress website here. And I need to make sure I have the Lifter LMS helper plugin installed and activated and I do here. If you don't have the Lifter LMS helper on here, this is how you activate your license for any Lifter LMS advanced add-ons. You can always Google Lifter LMS helper and uh, check out our documentation and video on how to install the Lifter LMS helper and what it does for you here. Uh, but once we have that installed and activated, I can head to Lifter LMS add-ons and more, and I'm going to be installing Lifter LMS advanced videos here. So I'm going to install, apply, right there, give it a second to reload, then I'm going to activate apply, and then we'll give it a second. So what that actually did for me is it automatically installed and activated the Lifter LMS Advanced Videos plugins here. So now that that's on there, I can start to play around with the settings and see what it does. So I'm using Vimeo for my video host. You can use Wistia and YouTube, I think at the moment, and I think there's some more plans in the future uh, for other video hosts, but at the moment I'm going to show an example of Vimeo. And so if I go into one of my courses, I'm just going to use this uh, test course here and put a few videos in here to show you what it'll look like. So put a few lessons on here. Save my changes. And let me embed my Vimeo link here. So I have a sample video on my Vimeo account here. And uh, one thing that's important to know is inside of Vimeo Wistia, um, I don't think YouTube has it, but uh, there are some privacy settings you'll want to make sure uh, you work with if you're trying to lock down your videos for only your course, along with some embed settings uh, Vimeo and Wistia have for modifying your video. So if you want to remove some of this stuff in the upper corner over here, you can see there are some toggles. So you'll want to look at that kind of thing for... Um, your, your Vimeo and Wistia stuff to kind of clean up your player a little bit. Um, so that's not really controlled by advanced videos. That's going to be something inside of your player. But, um, but yeah, we can always edit some of that stuff here. And then I'm going to copy my link from my video. And I can go ahead and put it inside of my lessons. And it's going to use this featured video uh, field here. So if I paste my video right there on my lesson, then view my lesson. Let me reload the course builder here and view my lesson. There we go. So now my video from Vimeo over here is embedded right onto my lesson. And so this is all standard out of the box with Lifter. Let's dive into some of the actual advanced video settings. So if I head back over to the uh, Lifter LMS back end under Lifter LMS settings and then integrations. I'm working with Vimeo. You have the options for Wistia and YouTube as well, but I'm just going to click into Vimeo, enable this integration. There we go. And so now I have some options of what I can do. I can mess around with the player color if I want to. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to make a purple, save changes, and then go back over to my lesson and reload here. You can see some of this stuff is now purple and uh, the play bar is now going to be purple. So there's a few cool things like that you can uh, mess around with. Um, but then we also can disable a few of these things like disable the uh, title and disable some of these elements on the video if you wanted to. But um, yeah, uh, a popular thing to do is disable player controls. If you wanted to require video completion, uh, what you would do is click this disable video controls. And what that would do is it would disable my ability to, to mess around with the, um, the volume and all that kind of stuff and uh, playback speed. And then that in combination with requiring video completion is how you would require the videos complete before moving on. So if I go to courses on the Lifter LMS settings courses here, I can say require video completion. Let me save those changes. And so I can just click the mark complete button now, but now that I clicked on require video completion, it's grayed out. So I can't actually click on this until I've watched the entire video and I uh, can't click through the video. I can't speed up the video. 
I just actually have to watch this whole video before being able to click that mark complete button. And, um, and yeah, the, the reason you see a little bit of the Vimeo play bar in the background there is because my sample video inside of that video has the, the play bar, but your, your videos won't have that. Just the default Vimeo video there. So yeah, that's requiring video completion. Another cool setting we can work with is this auto advance. So maybe I wanted to have like a Netflix style feature where it's going to auto advance to my next lesson once I complete this uh, lesson here. So let's play my video, skip all the way to the end here. Oh, I disabled video controls. Let me go make sure I can enable my video controls. Reload here, perfect. So now let's skip right to the end and see what this auto advance feature will do for us. So now it's gonna count down three, two, one, and take me into the next lesson. There we go, so it automatically has that feature. If you have like a series of videos and you want it to just kinda of auto advance, you can use that uh, auto advance feature under Lifter LMS settings, courses, auto advance. And you can set it to 10 seconds, whatever you wanted there. And you can even set auto play. If I had like 10 video lessons, I could just auto play through all of them. And it would just kind of be kind of like a Netflix style experience where you play video one, you complete it, it auto advances you and then auto plays. Uh, so just some cool features like that. And um, yeah, so that's kind of a high overview of Lifter LMS advanced videos and how you can use it on your website. And each uh, course and lesson, you can actually modify the settings for that course or lesson. So if you don't generally want to require video completion, so normally video completion is not required, but then you have one specific course where you do want to require video completion, you can do that as well. The settings we've been looking at so far are going to be on a global site level, but you can always override those on an individual course level. So for my test course here, let's say I did not want to require video completion or my global setting is currently disabled. So you can just go through at your own pace, but for this one, I want to enable it. So for this course, you do have to actually watch all the videos. Um, so that's kind of something you can play around with, with some advanced video settings inside of courses specifically, if um, one course is different than the rest of your courses. But that's kind of a highlight, a uh, high overview on Lifter LMS advanced videos and how you can use it on your Lifter LMS website. Feel free to drop any questions or comments you have in the comment section below this video. I'm Will Middleton from Lifter LMS, and I will see you in the next video.